It's the start of the week, and we're back. I'm Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals, here with a look at some of what we think will make economic news this week. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. It's all but certain. The highlight of the week in terms of economic data will be the release on Thursday of the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index for January. The PCE index is projected to have increased at an annual rate of 2.4% last month, a decline from December's 2.6% pace. Annual core PCE, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, also is expected to have decelerated in January to a rate of 2.8% from 2.9% in December. It now looks increasingly unlikely that the central bank will begin cutting rates before June. Among the other numbers we'll be watching this week are three pieces of data that each gauge the health of the housing market. First up is the Census Bureau checking in at the beginning of the week with figures of sales for new homes in January. Economists expect to see that new single-family homes were sold at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 685,000 last month, 21,000 more than the 664,000 sold in December. Then on Tuesday, we'll hear from S&P CoreLogic with its Case-Shiller Home Price Index for December. The consensus forecast says the index increased at a year-over-year -year pace of 6.3% last month, not only would that be a sizable jump from December's 5.4% rate, it would mark the seventh consecutive month the index has advanced. Rounding out the housing data for the week will be the release on Thursday of the National Association of Realtors Index for pending home sales in January. The index, which tracks activity among signed contracts for single-family homes, soared 8.3% month over month in December. It was the first time in three months the index ticked upward and marked the single biggest monthly increase in three and a half years. Economists are expecting to see another increase in January, but at a far more modest pace of 1%. Switching gears, on Tuesday, the Census Bureau will reveal numbers for durable goods orders in January. After rising 5.4% in November, and then coming in flat in December, orders for durable goods are projected to sink 4.7% in January. Also this week, we'll hear from the Conference Board when it issues its widely followed Consumer Confidence Index for February. The Board made news recently when it announced it was dropping its long-standing forecast that the U.S. economy would tip into recession sometime in 2024. In what is perhaps a related note, the board's Consumer Confidence Index is projected to hold fast this month at the same measure of 114.8 reached last month, the highest reading for the index in a little more than two years. Finally on Wednesday, the Commerce Department will release its second of three estimates for GDP growth in the fourth quarter of 2023. The initial, or advance estimate, released last month indicated the economy grew at an annual rate of 3.3% in Q4. Economists are projecting that this follow-up estimate will see GDP revised lower to a rate of 2.8%. That's a wrap. Be sure to join us on Saturday when we take a look at what actually happened. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.